It's Steve and Kellen. Welcome back to Clear Direct. The backcountry bogey on the way to Oshkosh. We're about to enter the Fisk arrival. We're a beam endeavor bridge because we're uh, the Green Lake transition is in effect. But I'm seeing a lot of folks uh, coming out of the hold. So I don't know what caused them to hold. Looks like the hold is stopped. So we're still on the way to Green Lake. Sterile cockpit, just focusing on the Fisk arrival. And then him figuring out how to taxi to the Continental booth just uh, south of the tower. Do it! CFR arrival procedures have effect. Green light transition from my 27 and 36 left and right and east. On your Oshkosh flood control frequency, 120.7 for runway assignment. Okay, so yeah. Green Lake transition, 3011 set, light winds. Landing to the west or to the north. Looking for traffic. Eyeballs are our primary sensor. ADSB is our backup five. sensor, but remember, there are plenty of airplanes that do not have ADSB out. So if we see a hole, we still need to look and find the traffic. The good news is we'll pull the throttle, and it'll get a lot quieter in here. Hey everyone coming into Oshkosh this morning, laying runway 36, runway 27, that's pages 11 and 13 in your own book. The procedure is starting currently at Green Lake. We're not uh, too busy yet. Runway 36, tower frequency is 26.6, and they're going to assign you the left or the right side. Runway 27 will be on 18.5. As you come in on the procedure, get a half mile on trail, 1,800 feet, 90 knots. If you can't do that, 2,300 feet, 135 knots. Over Fisk Avenue, you're going to see a big microwave antenna out there. I want you to put that thing right off your right wing and stay over the top of the road. If I take you to 2.7, you're just going to keep following the railroad tracks north until you're the tie right downwind inside of the gravel pit for runway 27. So we need to start descending. So let's start our descent to 1,800 feet. Oh, my cheating is on autopilot here. All right, let's go vertical speed down. Wait, what do you say about autopilot? I, I feel like I'm cheating because, I don't know, it's just more demanding. And the last time I, you know, flew this was in my Bonanza without autopilot, so. Oh. But it's, it's good. I mean, we're not going to be flying the GPS route. But we're going to be flying the, this is a, a visual. Uh, arrival, but the GPS points gets us get us pretty close. Yeah, so those guys are going to be in the high pattern, even though they're below us now. They're going a lot faster, so it's a two ship, probably have like Lance Airs or something going fast. So we'll keep an eye out for them, but they shouldn't be a factor. They're going to pass off of our nose. They're and we'll, lower than us. Yep. That's the 140 flight. So we'll, get over to 118.5. Just monitor. They'll give you the instructions from there. Have a good one. So you looking for any traffic? Have a good one. Appreciate you. So we want to be eyeballs out, looking for. Anybody who might not be squawking, like this guy right there, just hopped oh. up 500 feet. I see him. Two miles. See him. Yep, got him. Thanks, there's two ships. You see both of them? Uh, I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two seven oh. over track north. So, I wipe down see how they're, entry into they're leveling 27. off at 2,300 feet. I've taken you to 2 yeah. 7 and you are past this. 18 That's 5 the and high. The three six and That's the high. Six, fast. Six, six. Oh, yeah. Uh, pattern. We're doing 135 over the ground right now, but um, we're not going to maintain that. We're going to go down the 90 knots once we hit Green Lake, making sure that nobody else is out here that we're cutting off. Is this Green Lake? This is Green Lake. All right, for those of you watching, it is Saturday morning, the 20th. Thank you. Low wing with the right side of the um, truck wing. 10, 15, 42 That's seconds right, local. Rod. You're going to follow the railroad tracks northbound to runway 27. Tie right downwind entry into runway 27. Okay. Gravel pit off the left side. Keep it tight. We, all right, so we're officially on the arrival. We need to now be at 1,800 feet and 90 knots. So let's go ahead and begin slowing. Twin up in the high track. We're going to turn on our wigwag. Give me a wing rock. Thank you, Twin. You're going to runway 36. Start a right turn and pick up Fisk Avenue for me. Right turn, pick up Fisk. That microwave antenna just off your right side. And uh, you're clear beneath you. You can start down to 1800 now. I see. I still see those guys up there. Good. Yeah, the, we're, we're also looking for people who are messing up, right? We're not just looking, following those people. We're actually scanning for people who are cutting the corner, maybe didn't get the ADIS, and, and uh, going right to Ripon. How many? A little bit more aggressive rock than that. More aggressive rock than that. <laughs> we don't want to get that call. That's like the worst. You're going to runway 36. That's the next one. Rockstar, right turn. Right turn now, eastbound. Pick up Fisk Avenue. Keep the microwave antenna. Just you call him right Rockstar. Side. See this guy? What's he doing? RV with a wigwag half mile south. He might be going direct to Ripon. Uh, he's 800 feet below. What the heck is he doing? Maybe a red nose on you. 
Red nose. Aircraft half mile south of Clown. Six now, Roger Wing. Okay, if I wasn't clear before, it's Saturday, the 20th of uh, July, at 1019 and 45, and 45 seconds track, local time, right. central daylight time. For those of you who arrived about the same time. Five whiskey tango, go back to Green Lake for me, rejoin the procedure. Ooh. My guy, half a mile south of Fisk, almost directly over Fisk, silver and red. Walk Somebody got away. sent back because they weren't doing the procedure correctly. Okay, okay. so we're approaching Ripon. This is the town of Ripon. So look. Follow us. Yep. So we pretty much follow the railroad track. Coming in on the okay, so there's an airplane coming in. Uh, head maybe head on. Okay, he's turning. See, he doesn't have a transponder. Yeah, See him? Two RVs, flight or two. Don't. Right, perfect. Which runway? Is it? Oh, it's a. It's a. Uh, Either he's one. doing a. Uh, oh yeah. Sure. Uh, crop testing. See, that's the guy you got to look out for. He was like nose on to us, co altitude. Damn. Uh, hold 85 for just a sec, just to make. What's the? What's our ground speed? Click on. Uh, zoom in one, and then click on him. 83. 83. Oh yeah, he's slow. We're doing 100, but showing 85. So. Oh man. If 90 knots is too fast for 1937, whatever, then just offset a little bit for me and we'll uh, work okay. it out. As he's offset. Cool. So we're going to stay right over the railroad tracks. He's offset. So we're going to hold 90 knots. The railroad tracks kind of converge on the road up ahead. Yeah. We're number four right now, unless this guy passes us. We're doing 90. This guy's... Um Wing, okay, good. That's good oh, yeah, he's low. in the high pattern. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Great like comment, bro. Right down south the gravel pit. Oh, there the he is. Oh, cool. Uh, field driver. Why is he in the high pattern? I don't know. Everyone coming inbound from the RV-15. Railroad tracks to high wing, half mile south of Fisk with the, uh, looks like, with the rocker wing. That's a good rock high wing. I'm taking you to 2-7 as well. Railroad tracks northbound on uh, 118.5 as they're passing Fisk. Got it. For and we, at passing Fisk, which we are, we're going to switch over to Tower. And we follow the railroad tracks. So you see the runways? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we're going to land that way. We're going to go towards the lake on the on the Keep north side. Green coming around. Green, not clear to land. Okay. We we'll just follow the railroad tracks and keep, go keeping him in sight, 1,800 feet. Yeah, we're going to go all the way around it. We're going to look for the gravel pit. Okay, so that's runway 9. Oh, I think I see it. We're going to be landing. Um, yeah, there's the gravel pit. Yep, yeah. exactly. The, run, the railroad tracks run right into it. 90 knots, 1,800 feet. Tally ho. The people who are taken off, they're restricted to stay below 1,300. There's quite a two in the dome. Oh. Why would people no, take off? Single. We got close to 195. Tail dragger number two, two runway two seven clear to line green orange dot. Orange dot. Wait. Keep bringing that turn all the way around, all the way around. Okay. Oh. High wing tail drag over the gravel pit, start your descent. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Just tail dragger, keep bringing it all the way around, all the way around. Black and white tail dragger, start your base green dot clear to land. Green dot clear to land. Bring it all the way around, one turn. Okay. Keep it bringing it all the way around on the turn. Overfly the orange dot, green dot, quarter land. White high wing over the gravel pit, start your descent. Tail dragger left into the grass, follow the flag, man. Welcome to Oshkosh. High wing, turn your base, turn my two seven quarter line, green dot. Tail drag on one way left into the grass, follow the flag man, welcome to Oshkosh. Whoa! Watch your water bottle. Yeah. 
here. Do you want me to grab it? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. We're going to eventually work our way to the Continental booth. But uh, thanks for joining us. Till next time, it's Steve and Kellen. You're cleared to rest.